welcome welcome to my channel a special welcome to my new subscribers um just so my new subscribers know i do do monthly giveaways so please stick around Let's go the back way. And how I do that is I put it on the first, but I don't make the drawing until the end of the month to give new subscribers if there are any chances to enter okay um, since I've got a lot of new subscribers that are not in the States this giveaway is gonna kind of be in two parts comment below the well let me tell you what the prize oh that's pretty um, gonna be if you're outside of the United States, I'm not talking about Canada and Mexico. Well, yeah, I will because it's Amazon. Okay. If you are outside of the United States, it'll be a $25 gift certificate to whatever company you want that will sh ship out to you. Okay? If you're in the United States, it's going to be a light pad. I ain't giving away a light pad in a long time. So just comment below. But when you comment, let me know. Because there's going to be two winners. One internationally and one in the United States. So please put down in the comments. I don't need your address, address. But just put like UK or United States what have you okay now that being said I do not announce my giveaways so it always pays to watch my videos sometimes I do more than one giveaway what can I say anyways when it rains, it pours. First, my internet goes out. Well, it's been acting up since I've been here, and I always have to reboot it. And I called them, and they said, well, okay, since so that's not working, hold on. He says, yeah, we're not getting any communication from your box. How old is it? I told them. Well, I said, it's same box that was put in here when we opened the account. He says, well, no wonder. They had me a hot spot for yesterday if somebody canceled. I'm expecting a Monday. But Hunts, they must have fixed it. But when they did, now we got no phone service. So I can't do anything but call them on my cell phone Monday. Meantime, I called the most important people, basically my brother even the bad one, and told him, if you want to talk to mom, you can have to call me on the cell phone. Let's turn this way. And to talk to her. Somewhere it rains, it pours. Then I get my custom in. I'm all excited, and they goof that. Don't get me wrong. The drills are great. Very clear. But they chopped his, my nephew's legs off. Well, I decided to go ahead and do it. Because... I'm not gonna. I spent seventy dollars on that painting. I'm not spending another seventy, eighty dollars 
to get it from another company or whatever. And every mama won't answer. They read my first one. And then I says, what are you going to do about this? They haven't read it. And then I says, I got two colors missing. Oh, a poor skunk. And, ooh, even dead, even dead, they smell. There was a dead skunk over there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, phew. And they haven't read it, so I, they're not answering. And, you know, I do like the company for customs. I've never had any problems with customs from them until now. I think when I use that, uh, because even before I, I actually paid for it, when they gave me the three sizes, I told them I wanted the biggest one. We gave them the picture. Then, that's when I paid for it. I used a coupon, and I think because I used the coupon, instead of, <laughs> that's when they gave me the smallest one. That and the issue was the size that they told me. I ordered the biggest size they had, which I thought, so it could have been a miscommunication. So I may give them another chance, but certainly not by customs at this point. I found this route yesterday because they're working on the road and they had a, a detour. And I thought it was pretty, so I thought I'd take you this route instead of uh, the routes I normally take. Besides, it's a good way to know the place, right? There must be a detour because they see all these cars coming. But it is a little bit more windy than the other ro road I normally take. So, it's been a headache, a total headache. I will be going live tomorrow, and around 10, 11 o'clock, I hope to see you there. Doesn't seem to be anybody going live around that time, and I had a good success last Sunday. So, that's when I will be going live. Taking the real long route. Well, no problem because I know the main road's that is that way. It's this way. That way. Well, I can't. I guess you can't see my finger, and I ain't getting a car accident trying to show it to you. Then my mother's taxes are due. They're, she ain't got it. I haven't got total of it. Thank God for her sister Denise. Thank you, Denise. Sit there so we're both paying her taxes. So there won't be too many um, boxes on my channel. I will try this month. I will try to do um, whip of chats, maybe, because all my money, every last dime, just got to go for that. I 
people didn't know what I was heading into when I came here. I'm still getting surprises from my mother. And thank you for my ex because I was going to have to let this phone go. He gave me his card. He says, he thinks I can, because I got his card number, I can go to ATM or whatever. He says, take a hundred out. I said, I can't take a hundred there, but I'll use it for my phone. I don't need a hundred dollars to use it for my phone. He's just worried his car to get to trip. I says, no, I can go to Walmart, get my phone card directly on my phone. It's not going to be a problem. I know what he's thinking. That's when I return to San Diego after mom passes away. That, uh, uh, oh, is this a gas station? Let's go check it out. I think, oh no, it's, it closed. Apparently it was open at one time. Hot Springs Village Citizens Academy Police Department Training and Event Center. Okay, I guess it used to be a uh, gas station, I guess, at one time, and now it's a police academy? Looks like there was a bank there. Here. Ha! Huh. Okay. That's a church. Okay, I was recording some reason it stopped, so I'm not sure where I let off. But what I was saying basically was that I worked in people's homes, take care of their loved ones. That, you know, the job wasn't that secure. It was only as long as the family wanted to keep them home or they passed away. There'd be no vacation time. <coughs> the first one I had only had one day off a week. The rest I did have two days a week. Um, at one point, my mother's then boyfriend, I went, drove all the way from California to Oklahoma. Oh God. That was for his mother to get out of the nursing home and be home, but she wouldn't let me take care of her. She fought me and She'd holler for her husband, and he would come and end up having to do it. And I tried talking to him. I said, look, I'll get the care done. She may not like it, but I'll get the care done. But I can't get the care done because every time she hollers, you come running. Well, she wasn't, so it was determined I was just going to leave. But when she found out I was going to leave, she knew, she knew that it meant nursing home. And she pleaded with her husband, pleaded and promised that she let me take care of her. Well, that lasted for three days, and we're sitting in the living room, you know, and they're in their 80s, 90s, and the husband's, he had been a farmer, and he, he's playing on his uh, equipment thing. Tra Anyways... And I was trying to talk to her. I said, don't you care? And he's 90 years old. He can't be lifting you. He can't be doing this. She, and she told me she flat out didn't care. I said, you know what? This is it. I quit. So I went out and told him. I said, look, I, I can't do this. I'm leaving. And when she found out I'm leaving. She tried to tell me. She, oh, I feel sick. I said, yeah, right. She's been known to cry a wolf. But he decided to take her in. And. 
Karen, she was a crying wolf. And on my way out, I did stop by to say, tell her goodbye. And she goes, I love you, but if you leave, I won't love you no more. <laughs> but it wasn't not going to work anymore. So I said, you know, I'm tired of doing this. Um, I went to get a job at Grass Valley, and the state of California said, basically, I had been working privately for so long and out of the state of California for a long time I had to do the course all over again frustrating right I was one of the first groups ever to be certified by the state of California thank you very much way back in the 70s so I get a job at this nursing home in Grass Valley and they were having classes so the first three weeks all I did was answer bells and then even when I do the class I get there in the morning half the time I'd be sleeping and they were the instructor was putting the students with me they said you know the reason we do this she already knows this just the state says she has to do this all over again well LVNs RNs all they got is a written test the CNA's got a written test plus skill test and I pulled the Heimlich maneuver and positioning well when I did the Heimlich maneuver and they pulled me in to tell me that I did pass she they asked me if I had ever done a Heimlich I said well yeah I took an EMT course I was trained in it and I took care of a patient who should have been a puree the wife didn't want it, so I was always had to do the Heimlich she says well the instructor wrote that down there the tester wrote down there that was the best demonstration of the Heimlich maneuver that she has ever seen yes Yes, yes, yes. So that was cool. Anyways, I'm going to end it now because i got to go in the grocery store. So happy timing painting and please just bear with me.